this specific part of the pre-college program, the biomedical engineering section, we're going to be giving them a rapid introduction to biomedical engineering in the context mostly of design. So there will be a lot of hands-on uh, parts, most of them in terms of biomedical instrumentation, which is how do we use various uh, electronic sensors to measure different things about biology. Uh, we'll be looking at oscilloscopes and function generators. We're going to be talking a lot about how we assess what people need when they need something in a medical instrument. So we'll be looking at thermistors, which is a device we use to measure temperature. And we'll be looking at how the thermistors can be used to measure flow, which is the same way that a uh, cardiologist may assess how much blood is coming out of your heart. We'll be looking at how uh, electrical signals generated by the body are measured. We'll be showing people how electrocardiograms, the electrical signals coming from the heart, are used. We'll show people how we may measure uh, breath and how deeply we're breathing and how that's linked to heartbeat. And we'll be doing that with all the same instrumentation, building the circuits, uh, and uh, the students should have a good time doing that. I tell the student that we're getting a broad experience. It's not made to rigidly do exercises like at a bench. We're going to immerse you in things very quickly. Nothing is going to go on so long that you can get bored doing it. We'll have maybe a few minutes pre-lab and then we'll go right into a workshop where the students are really dealing with each other uh, as equals instead of dealing with an instructor or somebody they have to listen to. And I think that's a great way to prepare for college where you're mostly doing stuff yourself. You may have an hour with your professor when he lectures but that's all you're going to see and the rest of your learning is all up to you. I hope the students really gain uh, that imaginative approach we were talking about. How to make your uh, approach to solving problems include all the possibilities regardless of how well they're going to work or how silly they are and then start narrowing in on what really will work. What are the best methods out of all the methods we can? I hope to show them that they don't necessarily have to have a firm grasp of everything they undertake while they're doing it at the bench and get a more positive experience that way.